I want to get back to the pipes and the companies that you, you call out, AT&T, Verizon, Time Warner, mm -hmm. uh, Comcast. They paid a lot of money to build these pipes. They own them. Sure. They got to manage the traffic on them for all our sakes. What do you say? Well, no, I wouldn't say that because the reason they have all this money to to build things is because we pay them every month. We're paying our 60, 70, 80 dollars a month to get the whole internet. Their only job is make sure the pipes work, make sure that it gets to my house. That's what I'm paying them for. They don't need to decide what content's gonna work as long as it's lawful content. How many more pipes can we build? I mean, don't you feel like it's crowded enough? We have all these pipes. Let's manage those pipes instead of worrying about new pipes. No, no, I think we've got a great opportunity to make those bigger, and I think we've got a lot of capacity that actually hasn't been utilized or used that we can take advantage of here. And it doesn't mean just creating special fast lanes for a few select companies. Let's benefit the whole internet. Who knows what kind of amazing things that you or I haven't even imagined yet might be created on a free and open internet. So let me just break it down, I guess, for both of us here so that okay. we can understand. So here's the ground, okay, and we have to go into the ground to get the internet, right. right? So we have some sort of contraption that pulls up the cable, pulls up the fiber. At some point, we're out of these materials. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Uh, I think the internet it is not like a natural resource that we're gonna run out of. We can keep making more. I think what you, you're, you're forgetting is that all across the country, there are these huge big pipes running through and it's all going back and forth constantly mm -hmm. beyond anything probably we'll ever need. That, that's already there. At this level, uh, we don't have these scarcity problems. We're not running out of the internet. Now the challenge is how do we get from those huge pipes down to your house? Here comes the internet, it's coming off the big pipes, but here in your neighborhood, there's just this little, there's a little loop. We can actually invest in making this loop a little bit better and offering more service for you or even better than that, instead of just having this one loop, it's the only option, how about if the phone company comes in and they put fiber optics straight into your house? Now you, you're gonna get all the internet that you want. You wouldn't be stuck with this subpar service that you have to share with your neighbor. There'd be more uh, for everybody.